Hi, it's Adrian, Oldenburg Vineyards. We're now in mid-May, in autumn. Um, we've been pretty busy for the last few months. So I think what we'll do is let's um, jump in this thing and cruise around. It's always good to uh, be mobile on this farm. There's a lot happening. Let's go find out what's happening. We'll stop here and jump out and go and look and see what we can find. Right, I've jumped into the, uh, the Feinbos, which is one of our uh, big projects this year. Uh, last year, we planted um, a nice strip going up Rondekop. Um, Feinbos is where all the natural um, predators of the dreaded mealybug, which, which is our biggest foe on the farm, live. And um, they go into the vineyards and they eat the mealybug for their lunch. So we plant Feinbos, it's beautiful. And what will happen over the next, um, probably the next four to six weeks is these things break into flower. So they're a winter flowerer and they're absolutely fantastic. So big project is, is we're working in here and then we've got this sort of probably half a hectare going that way and possibly another piece over there that we're, uh, we're gonna work on. So that's a, that's, a, that's a big project because we're just trying to create as much natural vegetation around the cultivation. So it's a sort of sustainable thing, but it's actually really important to get right. Um, so uh, actually looking over here, I've got uh, Christo. Christo is our um, new viticulturalist. Thanks for, uh, yeah. you know, you're Hi. cruising by at the right moment. Um, Christo's just started here and um, running the whole viticulture program, really taking us up a few levels and, you know, just running the farm in general. So um, yeah, Christo, what's, uh, what's, what's your first impression of uh, being in the valley and at Oldenburg? I think that's the first impression of this, this wonderful to while we're standing in with this nice rocky soils and the mountains almost wants to eat you. He is the, the new, new man on the team and uh, it's really exciting to have him on board. This is, uh, this is our latest big vineyard project. Um, this was originally planted to Syrah and um, in, in the syrup, inherent in the vines we planted, unfortunately, we had a lot of uh, leaf roll virus. So um, it shouldn't have been there, but it was. And um, I think one of the things I've learned in, uh, in, in the world of farming is, you know, there's only one way you can take the sort of knocks and, and that's just to turn whatever it is into, um, you know, into opportunity. Nature is gonna deal out what nature wants to, and that's just the way it is. You know, this, the opportunity here is a big one because in, um, in Rhodium, which is, uh, is a blend of um, Cabernet Franc and um, Merlot. And um, the top half of this block is gonna be planted in Merlot. And the bottom half is gonna be, we're adding some, um, some Chardonnay um, into the mix, which is, um, the Chardonnay here will be fantastic. It's slightly more moist underneath, which Chardonnay's gonna like. And up there, it's a slightly different soil type. So the, the, the block is not gonna be square, it's gonna be delineated by the soil type. Above this block, we have the uh, Cabernet Franc. So, you know, if you just envisage this in time, you know, these two blocks of wine um, are going to come together as a, as a really, really delicious wine. And down here, we'll have the Chardonnay, which is, um, which is going to be a great component. No, it's beautiful here. It really is. We're right on top of Rondekop, 410 meters above sea level. And um, I think it's always nice when you look down this down to the uh, Chenin Blanc on the riverlands at the bottom. But you just get a, you might not get it on, 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 on video, but it's just so steep. We're gonna take a walk down here. A lot of people ask me, we've got two cypresses in the middle of our Syrah block, just below the top of Rondekop. And I'm always asked what, uh, what um, those cypresses are. So let's take a walk down there and find out. Yeah, so this is, um, these, these two cypresses you'll see from the tasting room. Um, and there's a little bench here that I'm sitting on. Uh, it's a memorial site. Uh, um, when my uh, grandmother, uh, Dorothy, we called her Romy, passed away, she was, um, her ashes were spread up here. And it's just a, it's just a, I mean, you know, what a, what a great place to, to finally rest. And you get all of this around you. So. Um, it's, it's just nice having a little bit of sort of family, um, you know, with us in the vineyards. In April, we, we finished the solar project on the roof of the cellars. Uh, a couple of days ago, I was shown an app um, and you can see, you can see what we're generating 
relatively early. We're generating something like 60% of our energy. Um, and full, full sun would probably go to you know, 100%, depending on what's been done on the farm and how much has been used in the cellar. Um, you can see how, how much carbon we're saving, how many trees we're effectively planting. I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. So that's a, that's a sort of phase two of our solar project. Phase three is work in progress, but phase three will hopefully disconnect us from ESCOM. So happy days, can't wait for that day. Just to sit at the tasting room and watch the, um, you know, watch, watching the vineyards and the nature and the, these mountains is, is, is um, it's a, definitely a calming thing to do, so. I hope you enjoyed that jaunt, as they say, in South Africa, which sort of little trip around the farm. It's been great, and um, I'm feeling a bit thirsty. I don't know about you. Time to go and find Nick for a glass of wine. So, Nick, what's, uh, what are we going to have here? Well, I've got the 2018 Oldenburg Vineyard Syrah here. Yeah? Okay. Um, it's a great wine for a blend of two uh, vineyards on Oldenburg, both situated on granitic soils, quite high above Rondekorp. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Yeah, on the nose, that lovely pure, you know, red fruit coming through. Lovely spice with some pepperiness. Oh, such a great wine to enjoy on, oh, such, well, a cheers, cold, on such a cheers. cold day. <laughs> cheers. Oh, that's great. Well, I mean, we're by the fire and we've cut up many, many logs. So come and visit us and uh, you can grab a glass of this and uh, sit by the fire and enjoy it. <laughs>